Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome to my Rome Total War Remastered Gaul Gallic Tribes campaign on the RTR Imperium Serector mod. In today's video, I want to do a full campaign in one video with the challenge of uniting the Gallic tribes in all of Gaul, forming a Galatian kingdom in Anatolia, and conquering the Roman Republic. If I can't, I consider this video challenge campaign a failure. Let me know in the comments other campaigns you'd like me to do in the comments. So let's make the goals great again. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, welcome to the campaign map. We're playing as the Gauls, or the Gallic Tribes, that they've been renamed in the RTI Imperium Serector mod. This mod adds new, historically accurate units, and also they change the starting position of many factions. So we currently have Brennus up in Alicia, our capital. We have Menio Lanium as well, down in the peninsula. We also have Ankara. This is to replicate the Galatian Gallic tribes in Gaul. So I wouldn't actually mind sort of forming an empire over there as well. So we want to unite the tribes in Gaul. We could look to push into Spain. We'll just have to see how we go. But I really want to go after the Romans mostly in this series. I want them to be our major adversary. Okay, so let's start building up the Gauls. So we're going to need roads to navigate through Gaul. And also farms as well. So Brennus is our faction leader, 52 years of age, 5 star command. Let's have a look at his family tree real, real uh, quick actually. So we've got Lugatorix, Epidorix. So he has 4 sons. So our lineage is secure. Win Vindex, Windex. <laughs> the, uh, the cleaning goal, I guess. So yeah, Brennus wants to burn Rome to the ground. Okay, so in our capital, got a couple of options. Um, we've also got shrines we need to build as well. Uh, I think roads, yeah, is probably our best bet, as I mentioned before, because we want to be able to move around Gaul. In the Greek campaign, there wasn't. It's not that hard to navigate through Greece, so sometimes you're better off just getting the food. Narbo will build a wall as well, and roads eventually. Okay, recruitment wise. Just some Gallic Spearmen that we can get. So let's try and get them all around our empire. So we don't want to put everything into the Gallic sort of Gaul basket. I definitely want to try and take some territory in Anatolia. Okay, we want to try and just unite the Gallic tribes because there's a fair amount of Gallic territory around Gaul. So. There must be a settlement around there somewhere. Um, Windex, I'm going to call him. He can be sent to Bordeaux, Bertagala, build a watchtower where we can. Small garrison inside. Uh, we've got a navy here. We don't really need that. And there's no really where to protect it in a port. Um, we'll send Epidorix to Patavium, as getting that early on can give us really nice trade. It also gives us glass as well. But the trade port is really important. We want to try and snap uh, snap up Genoa as well if we can. Or Stalia. Okay, so we're going to push for Batavium. I wouldn't mind actually just getting trade or just some amicable relations with the Romans. We do want to try to go to war with them. But we have to keep an eye on them. Uh, the spies open the gates here so we can actually take Batavium which is brilliant. And the Factionaire can do that. So Batavium's now under our control. We'll repair that. So that's a really good get. If we can grab these three in the north, it might sort of abri uh, ag aggro the Romans. Proposal. But, hmm, we'll just have to see how we go. Uh, I knew this fleet would be a nuisance. So a huge rebel fleet has attacked me. We'll just have to auto-resolve and lose that one, which is a shame. The Kingdom of Pontus want trade right and map. I'm going to accept that. So we are going to be able to get a decent amount of trade from these eastern factions. Oh, thanks. The Greeks want trade as well. That's fine. I don't want a war with them. Because they have Massalia quite close next to me. Oh, thanks. Okay, temples wise. Which one is the good one? I think this one is the Sacred Grove. Um... 
So light and experience and the two experience. Yeah, so it's mostly just like experience. I guess we'll just go with this one. For just experience, yeah. Okay, we're currently sieging out two rebel settlements in Gaul because we want to try and unite the tribes. Bertigala is under siege, same with Vienna. The quicker we can get Gaul fully under our control, the better. Because we can get our finances in. We do sort of... We're in a bit of a poor region of the map. Spain. Like, the Italian peninsula is really wealthy. Then followed by Greece and Spain. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful with how we build up our economy. So we just need to try and claim as much territory as we can. Today is a grim day for our enemies. They face us. They must know they only have moments left to live. So let your battle cry be death, 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 and shame to our foes. Okay, so we currently got four armies in operation. So this battle here is for Bertigala. We're facing some... Gallic soldiers. So just a random Gallic tribe, which we need to conquer. So a little bit of a civil war going on here, I guess. So... We have six spearmen, one skirmish unit, and then the javelins. There's only... Maybe two, three more settlements in Gaul. But yeah, we want to try and grab them as quickly as we can. We might look to go into Spain, because there is rebel territory there, but I might even ally with our Spanish barbarian compatriots, I guess. Quite close, this one. 50% in our favor. But the first battle of the Gaulish series is about to begin. Then we have to keep an eye on Rome. Because if you can get Batavium and Stalia and many many Alanium quite quickly, it does sometimes make the Roman Republic AI go, okay, we're not we might like if you get a big enough military force and become an overall stronger faction, like Sometimes the Romans do fear and go, hey, we're not going to worry about the Gauls to the north. We're going to worry about the Greeks. So we're going to start off the Punic War against the Carthaginians. So here are our Gallic brothers inside. They refuse to join the tribe. And they must be destroyed. So yeah. We'll keep an army. Oh, that ram's gone. That's some really unlucky RNG. Uh, we're going to have to swing them around this way then. That's annoying. Not often do you lose a ram in such a small settlement like this. Usually is it when you fight huge cities or larger walls. Crikey. So, I've got my skirmishes up here on an angle. Hopefully they can arc their shot and hit over. Oh, I thought the ram nearly went there. But the spearmen are doing well. And these javelins are doing really well as well. They've got some Gallic swordsmen in there, which you have to keep an eye on. And the Gauls have been recently buffed in this build. Sometimes those spearmen <laughs> in some of the early access builds I was playing were very, very underpowered. Okay, the enemy gate has been breached. And let's make our way on in to the city. So, let's just slow things down while we get everyone in. So try and skirmish more so if you can. I would like to ideally use all my ammunition before we enter. Because we're just smashing on through them. Our spearmen will make quick work of any cavalry inside, but they'll have a harder time against swordsmen. Still got 100% of our men. Or they only have 80 or so. So... Uh. Ah! Oh, thankfully, that unit is nearly routed. That's annoying. The unit got caught between going left and back.
A little bit of a tricky situation here because they actually stopped us there from charging. We'll get stuck into their heavy cavalry. And we'll make our way towards the city centre of Bertigala. We've got to be careful as the goals because we aren't the best faction early on. A lot of our earlier units, particularly spearmen, are, well, lack of a better term, garbage. <laughs> They're garbage. At least with the Romans, they have Astarte and, and Princope quite early on, and even Triari, you get a couple units and decent Equite cavalry. Even with the Greeks, the Hoplites, although they're not as good as the Romans, you can make Pikes and Hoplites a bit better to your advantage on the battlefield. Okay, we've made our way to the town square here, but we've lost a fair few Gallic spearmen trying to break on in. Is this because we're fighting sword units here? The once Bertigala is secured, we'll be able to flow trade from west of Gaul, from Britannia to Spain. And we're just securing more consistent and reliable income for the Gauls. Yeah, so if I can really pin on the Romans in, in that northern province, that would be really beneficial to sort of build up Turtle Consolidate and let them sort of smash upon the plains in the north, like water on rock, that would be ideal. So Bertigala is now under our control. We'll enslave because we want to send the pops all around the Gallic Empire. Okay, so... We've got this army in Ankara. We might as well let it try and take as many rebel territory as we can. So we'll push into Necomedia now. And we'll try and form this little Anatolian Gallic kingdom. Or Galatian. Yeah, the Seleucids want trade. So this is what I'm talking about. We're going to be able to get decent trade with like Pontus, the Greeks, the Egyptians, oh, and the Seleucid Empire in the Far East. Awesome. Okay, it looks like we're going to be able to snatch Stalia, Genoa, which is brilliant. We can really stranglehold and hold in the Romans in. It was an average victory there. And we'll exterminate the pop because we're building up quite rapidly already. So we're just gobbling up rebel territory early on. No major war with the faction just yet. Yes. Right, back up into the north in Vienna. We're going to be able to hopefully take this before the Greeks do. Because we're going to have to bypass through their territory. Because they have Massalia. And Brennus is going to be able to take it. A faction leader. Sweet. We'll replenish and repair where we can. Carthage which wants trade rights? Sure. You never know. They could take over Iberia. Would you consider? So, um, I don't want to give you money. Just trade then. Most generous proposal. Okay, I built a fleet because we can pop over on to take Byzantium. We can form a little Byzantine kingdom over here. So if we can take this before the Macedonians or the Thracians do, that'll be cool. So Byzantium will be Galatian, hopefully. Okay, so we're still gobbling up territory. I've pushed over the Pyrenees to take... I don't know what this territory is. It's like, maybe it's Catalonia? I don't think I don't think it is. It's a little bit north of Barcelona. But we're just trying to seize and control as much rebel territory as we can. And we'll enslave that. Repair as well. Perfect. Okay, so the Romans have moved an army north. The Greeks have some territory there as well. We're just going to have to keep an eye on them. Because they are... Moving into my territory. Oh, they're going to try and bribe the settlement, aren't they? Nope, they've actually attacked. Yeah. I thought it, it potentially could happen because they were moving forces through my land. So the Romans have declared war upon us. In Patavium. And we've been attacked here. That's alright, it's going to turn into a field battle then. We'll take that. Okay, so we need to deal with that. 
They haven't got too many more forces to the south. Okay, we're going to be able to take Byzantium now because that rebel army attacked it and will really weaken the garrison. So Byzantium is now under Galatian control. It's near drop down there. Cool. Nice little kingdom we're forging. I like it. I like it a lot. The Germans want trade. We'll accept that as well. Get that map information. The more barbarians we can call allies Almost and friends out, the better. Macedonians want trade as well. We'll get that deal done. A most generous proposal. And the Celtiberians as well. We're going to be able to get an alliance with them finally. As we're going to start to border them down in Spain. I'd rather go with them than the Carthaginians. Oh, we could ally with Carthage if we need to. A most generous proposal. Okay, so our fleets are getting smashed by the AI, which is understandable. The Gauls weren't known for their sailing ability, I guess. Still trying to take as many settlements in Gaul. We want to try and bring the entirety under our control. Brennus is up in the north. We're just mopping up rebel stragglers. Right, back down in Rome. We're still getting besieged at Patavia and against the Roman Republic. I've sent an army to go deal with it. So we currently have about four armies still in operation. One still in Anatolia. We've got a stack here in Italy. We'll try and relieve the siege of Patavia. And we've got another two in Gaul. We'll eventually have them come over to uh, Rome. Because we don't need that other army in Spain. And once Gaul's under our control, we don't need to keep too many armies there. So let's fight this one, our first real battle against the Roman Republic as they try to take the crucial port of Batavium. The sun has risen. Many brave warriors will not see the setting of the sun today. Many cowards among our foes will pray for the night. Look at them. Look and remember, every one of them fears you. Fear gnaws at their gizzards. Fear eats their hearts. Fear of me, fear of you. Now, fight! Okay. Anything else in the speech? No. Let's start the deployment then. Okay, so we're going to have to keep... Uh, Hmm. We should be able to push upon Eretium and Arinium if we can defeat this army here now. They will have some armies in the south, you'd think. But you never know. Sometimes the AI does get a little bit beaten down by rebels or Carthaginians. So we'll make a strong, long spear front line. We'll put our skirmish cav on the right. We'll put our melee cav on the left. We've got a fair few generals bodyguard here, so we should be able to make use of them. And... I think we've got a reinforcing army? Yeah, we do. So let's control left click and move that up. Yeah, because we're lifting the siege of Patavium technically, aren't we? So let's move the spearmen up. Try and lock the Romans into place and then we'll try and surround and overlap and envelop them. So we've got some Samnites here, mostly Histati and some Villates as well. Nothing too crazy. The thing is, the Romans have the quality and experience over us. We'll wait. We have the terrible equipment, but numerical supremacy. So let's try and wrap around and use that to our advantage. Let's swing around here. So we're getting stuck into the Hestati on the front line. We've caught them in a little bit of a movement transition. You can swing around here. And we'll go here as well. Yep, keep wrapping around. That's what we want. I move my archers up. And we'll try and square up the cavalry as well so we can cycle charge in. So get all these boys just to hit that and see how we go. So we've lost they've lost ten percent within this initial conflict. So the Gallic heavy cavalry's coming in. Oh and it's absolutely ripped on through those villates. They have massively being crushed and capitulated there. Yeah, now focus on the Hastati. They aren't going to last as long as they would if they had a general embedded in this army. 
We're doing all right. They're now broken. Most of the Hestati are now... Uh, the Villites are now fleeing. Most of the Hestati are actually holding. But the Gallic Tribes, which have been renamed in this mod, which is cool. The Gauls have surrounded the Romans here in the north. Well, that's a good charge. They must have come back. Try and hit those Hestati that are hitting... Actually, that's actually quite smart. <laughs> they're, they're, we've got a encirclement going and they're trying to encircle us. There's nearly like a double encirclement here. Right, make sure the cavalry run down, runs down those villites because we don't want them coming back. We're getting more of our skirmishes off. Some of our spearmen actually fled there a little bit. We'll be right. Just the more spearmen we can save the better. Good charge coming on here against the Hestati. Bring them down. Come on brave sons of Gaul. Some Hestati seem to be wavering here further to the north. These seem to be holding. Yeah, the Villites seem to keep on coming back and forth a little bit. Swung back to about 80% in our favour, so I think we're good to win this one now. Yeah, they're wavering. If they had a prominent general, maybe a Scipio or a... I don't know. A Julii or a Brutus, they might be able to hold on. There goes the enemy captain there as well. And they shouldn't be able to hold on much longer. So our first real field battle against the Romans. The Gauls have crushed the Republic on the open field. As they try to siege out Patavia. We definitely want to try and continue and run down as many of them as possible. We don't want to let any flee to Aretium and Arinium. Because we want to be able to push there. Clear victory. 340 will take the massive dub from the Romans. War. Horrid wars. <laughs> Quite fitting, I guess. Virgil. But it was quite early now, before your time, that. Okay, so we won that. Now we can push to Aretium and Arinium. Still have to keep a watchful eye on the the Greeks and the, and the Carthaginians and such. Um, where's my spy? Yeah, here. Okay, so they do have a small army that we can see. Just a little bit north of Rome by the look of it. Let's march south. Except a we're attacked. 2000. We just smashed you. Why would we do that? Until next time. Okay, so we've managed to siege out Aretium, but Rome has about four armies here in operation. They've got a full stack in the north with Cornelius Scipio Africanus. So we're going to be able to take Aretium here and hold out if we need to. So Aretium has now fallen, and we've got more Gaulic reinforcements coming by day. Brennus is still up in the north, and once we take this settlement near, yeah, I don't know, what is this, Brittany, modern day, we've united the entirety of Gaul under Brennus. Yeah, clear victory as well. Perfect. Exterminate that. The Adrissian Kingdom want trade. Okay, sure. Still got that alliance with Spain. Not too much is going on in the east. We're just gobbling up rebel territory. Pergamon's available, so we might as well take it. The Ptolemic... Yeah, Egypt want trade. It's because they have Halicarnassus. Sure. We probably border them now. The Macedonians want alliance. Um... They have an alliance with Rome, though. I'm going to accept oh, that. Ah, oh, the Greeks want it, though. Well, that might actually keep the peace. That might stop the war with them. I'd rather get an alliance with Greece because we border them. So let's get an alliance with oh, Greece. Oh, we got rid of the Macedonian one. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, so... We've got a reinforcing army coming from Mediolanium. We've got a full stack in Aretium. But Rome has moved up two armies. And now they've attacked with Flavius Julius. We're going to have to play this one. Pretty decent army as well. So this is actually a huge battle here. So we're going to try and defend the Roman city of Aretium now. So we've destroyed one full stack. They've still got about three. So if we can defeat this one, we might actually be able to secure... Iridium and then march on Rome. 
So we've got a defensive siege here. This should be a good one. The Romans have been quite aggressive in this. I've been taking my time because of our unit quality. But if we can use open field battles when we want them and defensive sieges when we can. Okay, so we've got five battering rams. That's going to make things difficult when they attack this front line. We could flee back. Nah, I was going to say we could flee back to the town square, but it's not a very well planned out Roman city. Sometimes when they're like thick enough roads and like pathways in, you can defend it a bit better. I think we're better off just trying to defend the walls. Sit back, turtle, try and hold the line and allow our arrow towers to try and take down some Romans. We've just got a lot of spearmen here. We do have some cavalry could maybe charge out and try and skirmish. This is going to be a tough one. This is make or break. We actually really need to win this one because that's a full stack gone. We've only got four armies, about four stacks in operation. We're just sort of having some fun in the sun in Anatolia. No one's really pressurized us there. The Seleucids, the Egyptians or the Thracians or the Macedonians. No, like no one's attacked us there. So... <laughs> Brennus is one of Brennus's sons is setting up his own sort of kingdom and holiday home. But yeah, the Romans probably still outnumber us. If we were to lose, well, we, yeah, they probably still outnumber us. And if we were to lose this army, it, it, it makes it probably like four to two armies. So we'll move our um, skirmish cav out. It's just a little bit difficult when you play on ultra units with sieges and stuff. So we'll take the risk. But here is the might of Rome here with Flavius Julius moving up. It's going to be a tough one, even though it's 50-50. Okay, it looks like the AI is going to allow my cavalry to get out, even though they take a little bit of time. Or maybe not, they might not be able to make it. If we can get all my cavalry out, that would be ideal. Oh, it's annoying when they just go back and forth like that. Just like run, like... Might need to just start spamming combines. Oh, They went a little bit too close to the rams there, and some of them are actually engaging. Maybe it's skirmish mode that's technically doing it? I don't know. Because the others have managed to get there. Yeah, just spam that. Okay, so it was a little bit haphazard. We lost a handful of cavalry, but we're out here now. We might be able to... Hang on, we might actually be able to snipe the general here. Because I reckon, numerically and heavy-wise, I reckon we've probably got cavalry supremacy over them. Because... The Barbarians do actually get quite decent heavier units. So they're still trying to attack my front wall here. My skirmishers... One's used all their ammunition. So we can probably send that up to deal with them. Yeah, let's try and surround the general unit here and try and get rid of them. Because Flavius Julius is quite a... renowned fame and inter, uh, infamous Roman commander. We can still sort of skirmish out those Astarte. We haven't really made a dent into them though. So what I'll do is I'll get the skirmish, initial skirmishers that have drawn their short swords. And then we'll get the actual heavy generals. Oh, they're all just going to cluster in there by the look of it. They're probably going to try and counter charge me here, but that's okay. But we should have enough to take down the Roman general's bodyguard and the tribunes. Equites and Gallic heavies clash for the battle. Of Arinium. Or Aretium. Can't remember which one's which. <laughs> okay, so... They've broken through the front line. The gateway, which is fine. Oh, we've crushed them there. We just need to move spearmen to each... Breach, which is probably going to happen. And we'll just pin them on in. Like that. Good. If we can get rid of the General's Bodyguard, that's actually going to be a massive play. That will severely hamper any morale they hold. And there he is. The enemy general has fallen. Flavius Julius has been taken out by Gauls on Roman soil as well. So that worked out well. We might actually be able just to take some more units out. So unfortunately the fort has been breached. 
Maybe just try and hit some of these units from behind with my cavalry. They're about to get more breaches in as well, but we should be okay to hold. So, like, try and hit these Villates from behind. They're not going to be able to hold on to a Roman, uh, a Gallic charge, the Romans here. Particularly with Villates. That wasn't the most venomous charge, but it'll be enough because they're going to be able to break. So, we'll try and make our spearmen hold, turtle up, and defend. While the cavalry can try and work its magic on the flanks and rear. Uh, getting a little bit pinned here. Ah! Just go out, go out, go out. Oh, we've managed to break away there. We actually got caught there. That could have been frightening. Yeah, so allow those spearmen just to hold, like, cover that breach slightly better if we can. Try and supplement them, like, here. Okay, if we can get the spearmen to lock down those Hastati and infantry, and we, we can just smash them in the rear. Like, there we go. Look at that. that they have capitulated. Perfect. They're flooding a lot more on this one here. There's about five units here that have made it through the breach. So that's going to be a bit difficult. Uh, we could flank with these guys. Yeah, let's get them out. Like, it actually might be beneficial to get them, like, behind. Something like that. There we go. There we go. That's what I want. And... I guess we've got the cavalry here to hit this opening. It's just turning into a bit of a grind at the moment. Still pretty back and forth. 71% to 58. Our spearmen are holding, but not doing the greatest as always. My cavalry now is just getting exhausted from cycle charging so often. It's going to be a close one. Hopefully we can pull this off. This is going to get way too close. My spearmen have done terribly. But we might be able to pull it on three. We've gotten rid of the general. But these Prinkapays are being very, very tough for us. This is... Although we might be able to claim victory, it is definitely going to be a costly one. They are just surging forward relentlessly. The Roman Prinkapes. Okay, we've got some that have, like, managed to regain some position. Alright, get that in. Oh, so it's reinforcements. Oh, good. We've got some actual sp swordsmen here now. They might be able to help. Yeah. <laughs> These Gallic Spears do not do well against Prinkapes. Okay, so we're flanked with our actual Gallic Swordsmen we have. But you got to give it to the Romans. They are really making us work for this one. This battle's gone for an hour now. We've initiated the countdown. We're probably going to get saved by the bell. Because if this battle went on for any longer, I don't know if we would be able to hold off the Romans trying to take the town square, to be honest. Minute remaining for this fight. Crikey, <laughs> we've lost 6% of our forces. Alright, average victory. We'll take that. Wow. Only 1.6 remaining, but we destroyed their army. We got rid of Flavius. I never said this Gallic campaign was going to be easy. Far out. Okay, so we're throwing them back. Okay, a war's broken out, actually, in the east. We're at war with the Seleucids, so we might as well try and take some of their territory. We're going to push into Sardis. So we're nearly creating, like, a Pergamon kingdom over here. So we've taken the Temple of Artemis, which will allow us to create decent religious buildings all around our empire. 
at a reduction. Oh no, Brennus is no more. Shame he didn't get to see the fall of the Roman Republic. And now his son, Epori Dorix, is now the king of the Gauls. Alright, 63 as well, that's a shame. Okay, we're going to push into Arenium now, after defending Aretium. And who's inside? L Lucius Julius. Still continuing this like weird little war against the Seleucids. They attacked me, but they have like no armies. They don't usually last long in Rome. Okay, so the Romans have fled back to well, Rome, their city. We have three full stacks in the peninsula now. And we've still got our armies in the Far East, so... Uh, who's in there now? Decius Maxentius is the faction leader. And we'll fight this one to try and take the capital. 10,000 Gauls march upon Rome. We brought about the same in the, the Greek campaign as well. So we've managed to muster and rally the tribes of Gaul, the Gallic tribes from Galatia to northern Gaul to southern Spain the barbarians are at the gates to attack before dark this battle will be done and only we will remain our foes will flee their dead will be numberless so fight well and make this happen Okay, let's start the battle. Okay, so we're attacking from a, actually a little bit of a difficult side here. So we have four other armies marching out. We've got heaps of ladders as well. Like eight each. We'll try and hit them from this other side. Alright, let's start the battle. And move everyone on up. Uh, we're running out of, like, wall space, I guess. There we go. <laughs> we have so many ladders in this battle. It's kind of crazy. Like, trying to find spots for them, that'll do. And... Uh, we can't even put any of them there. Oh, we can't. I just didn't have it clicked. Okay. Let's just try and move you guys just higher up here. Unfortunately, we haven't got the gates ways open, so we're just going to have to try and surround them from multiple sides. We'll move the ram up, just in case that battering ram catches a blaze. But once we take Rome, we should be able to take the rest of the peninsula with impunity. The Romans mustn't have many more armies back. That's now engulfed in flames. Luckily, we're bringing up the secondary battering ram. Just move those units back. We don't want them to lose any more units than necessary. So we've got Prinkipe holding the walls as a horde of barbarians tries to charge on in to the eternal city I wonder if that battering ram will last longer than the first one we'll start speeding things up nah <laughs> engulfed again so luckily I have an abundance of ladders because relying on the battering rams is not the best play they're reforming as our spearmen make their way on up. Run after them. Charge them if you can. So we've got four armies attacking from the four walls in Rome. They're now pushing up. They haven't quite made it. There's the Colosseum in the background there. We just need to get the gateway under our control. And then we can swarm everyone in. Yeah. Like, go for those Prinkapes if you can. And... Oh, there's some units there that haven't gone up. That's fine. We're attacking this west wall, though, which is good. But we're slowly but surely swarming on in. My frame rate is not looking the best, though. For whatever reason, just on that speed. Okay, so now we've got the gateway. We can just swing on everyone in. 
or send out the command. Because even if they have to make their way up through various ladder points, that's fine. Right, attack those Prinka Pays. So what is it? 75, 80% in our favor. Yeah. We've lost 4%, pushing up 5% now. But the gateway is fully under our control. Oh! Oh no, what's going on? Why is everything frozen but my cursor isn't? Oh, far out. We've had a game crash. I hope the recording hasn't gone. Alright, anyway, I'll check. I'll be back in a sec. Right. Sorry, guys. So, for whatever reason, this Siege of Rome keeps on crashing. I've tried to play it a couple times, so I'm going to have to auto-resolve it, which is infuriating. We got a little bit. I think it's just got to do with so much siege equipment, and the fact that there's, like, a crazy amount of units. Although there was 10,000 in the Greek video, there wasn't as many, like, per unit. So we're going to continue against the Romans. We just need to mop things up now. I want to completely destroy the faction. So Kappa has now fallen. We'll push for Tarentum, and if we need to move the Sicily, we can. Become protectorate, give them this territory. No way. I want to destroy the Romans, not puppet them. Until next time. Okay, Regium and Tarentum should be out of fall. Tiberius Brutus has lost Tarentum. And Regium should fall as well. It doesn't even look like they pushed into Masana anyway, as the Carthaginians look like they're going to be able to take it. And that's it. The Roman Republic has been destroyed. So here is the Gallic Empire. Look how much money we're making. It's actually kind of insane. So unfortunately we couldn't finish off the battle for Rome there. That's annoying. But we've gone out and completed today's challenge and victory conditions. We've wrapped up the campaign. We've managed to defeat the Roman Republic. We've united the Gallic tribes. We've managed to create this really cool Galatian success sort of just like allied kingdom in the east which is really quite cool that's really helped us financially to fund the war in the peninsula as the entirety of the Italian peninsula is now under Gallic control we didn't need to push into Spain because we allied with the barbarians and we did have a loose alliance with Carthage towards the end so thank you very much for watching hope you've enjoyed today's video still open to be doing more campaigns on Rome Total War Remastered, and the RTR Imperium Serector mod. So, that's just how it is. Sometimes mods can be a little bit unstable. I, I don't know. For whatever reason, the Roman battle just kept on crashing, which is super annoying, but you never know. It, it could be like, you're not meant to have 10,000 <laughs> units. Like, there's still a couple of things. Like, I think river battles don't work um, in this still technically. There's a couple of things. Even in the Westeros mod, like, you can't fight wooden um, settlements. So, hey, it's a shame. I tried my best, but if you want to see a Siege of Rome, go check out the Greek video, which I did, and, and that didn't have a game crash in it. Yeah, I have a sneaky suspicion that it's like <laughs> each one of those armies had eight pieces of siege equipment, first of all. Then we've got 10,000 men upon the battlefield, I can and I tried to put it on three times speed, and I'm recording, so there's a lot of things to troubleshoot there, so I don't know exactly what it is. Anyway, um, I am still open doing more on Rome Total War Remastered, so we've still got the Gaul, uh, sorry, we've still got the Spanish, we've played as the Gauls, <laughs> Britannia, the Germans, uh, Carthage, the Seleucids, there's still a lot more factions on this one, even like the Thracians and, and Pontus as well, so let me know if you'd like to see any of those and go check out the catalogue of videos that I have for this year. Alright, thanks guys, gotta say thank you to this month's channel patrons, and of course, members. So I'm going to play the outro now. Take care. Unfortunately, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Check out my social media links in the description below if you'd like to stay connected with me. Let me know feedback and suggestions for the video. Got to say a huge thank you to my patrons and channel members. Victor K, Sebastian C, Jordan K, Caesar L, Brian S, Tal, Liam B, Kyle P, Tom C and Wyatt P. But thanks guys, my name has been Simsy. Much love from Australia. Goodbye.